everybody, welcome to my new Let's Play, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Give me one second, while I'll make sure I send my video. Just wait. Alright, looks like it is, baby. Good, all to a new Let's Play. Now, for this game, I will be using my real name, okay? So, let's name it J. O-N-A-T-H-A-N There we go! This is but one of the legends which people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With his strength and his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at hand, A young boy clothed in green appeared as if it as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy who traveled through time to save the land was known as the hero of time. The boy's tale was passed down through generation until it became legend. But then a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil thought that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Once again, Crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark desires. The people believed that the hero time would again come to save them. But the god, but the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing more but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, a doom drew near. Nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of the kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but the le but its legend survived the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary for guard boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only that they used to know courage like the hero of legend. Okay, finally, after that long prologue, took about probably half the video by now. This is Outset Island. Now, I gotta say, this Zelda game has the best soundtrack than any other Zelda game out there. And I'm really, really having to choose that between Twilight Princess, which is my favorite game of all time. But this game's soundtrack is amazing. Big Brother! And this uh, little girl right here is known as Ariel. Or, I, I think that's what her name is. Um, I never get these names right, so don't be like, oh my god, d -d -d. I'm gonna try my best to see if I can get their names right. So, yeah. Uh, 
eye. <laughs> and of course, there's us. I knew you'd be here. Oh, how'd she get around us? She's a ninja. This is my favorite spot to gaze out to the sea when I play with the skulls. I call it Ariel's Lookout. Or, I don't know how to say her name. I call it Ariel. So, do you remember what day it is today? Okay, if you do not remember, like, this special day of yours, <laughs> did you forget? Big Brother, it's your birthday. How do you forget your own birthday? I know I don't. Keeps knocking up my mic. You should probably go home and see what grandma wants, don't you think? Whatever. And then she just stops in motion while we keep going in motion. So anyway, a uh, cool thing about this game is that a lot of people have not finished it because of a certain reason, which is later in the game, because you have to have a lot of rupees in the la later in the game. I personally, this is probably my second, third favorite Zelda game of all time. And it's bashed a lot because of the way it looks. It's all cell shaded. I don't care. It looks great, in my opinion. Okay. For these, go ahead and pick up this pig. Oh, by the way, by the time this has been, I actually am recording this while Tony Hawk's on the ground. It's still going on, but I'm just gonna be getting some recording done in this game, so that way I can have some parts ready for you guys. That way you're not like, oh my god, when's my waker gonna start? Because I know a lot of people are really looking forward to this LP. So I'm kind of recording this in advance so that way people can be happy. And I do know... I'm not getting all the hard pieces in this game. This is going to be a, just from point A to point B. Now, I will... I will be doing all 54s of the Savage Labyrinth, just in case you guys want to know. Hey, watch this. Um, come here. Look how far away we are. Just, just keep note of that. We bring her a pig. She gives us 20 rupees. How the heck does she reach us? Her arms can't stand. That's something I never got. Oh well. Only in Nintendo games will nothing make sense. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, so there's also um, something under here. Now, I know a lot of people do not get this, but I recommend getting as much cash as possible. And I know going into first person makes you go faster. I recommend going into... I mean, I recommend getting as much cash as you can at the beginning of the game. Because there are going to be two items I'm going to be going to get. Along with something I learned from Chucka Conroy, who has just finished his LP of this game. Um, now, a little bit of stuff I will be showing off. I will be killing all the big octos. For people who do not play the game, that will be a treat for them. But yes, I will be killing all the big octos. I plan on doing that. I already have a mapped out schedule for me to do um, of where to stop. Like, I'm going to stop once I get done with the outset, which really shouldn't take me too long to get rendered, and then everything will be hunky, uh, hunky dory. I may actually have this early. Who knows? Okay, so there's a pig right here. Now, guys, we're kind of running low on time, so I'm going to try and get the last of these pigs here. And then when we take them up here, we'll have as much money as we can carry, which is only 200 rupees. That's really not a lot, so I know this isn't good for, like, collecting-wise, but hey, I like getting money. I like being prepared in this game because money is your friend in this game. There is no doubt about that. People who play this game know that you spend, like, 300 and something ru 3,000 and something rupees on a certain part in the game where they got from the first Legend of Zelda. Well, at least that's what I believe. I don't know what anyone else thinks, but that's what I believe. Oh my god, you stupid out man. I'm not talking to you. Press L, press L to target right there and you can talk to him. Yeah. Okay, so guys, we really didn't start much. Like, we just got these pigs in here and I do recommend you do that because it's just going to help you later. Before you ask if I'm doing the Nintendo Gallery, no, I am not. I do have a save file with every one of them on there because I AR'd it. I mean, I, I, I had an AR and I hacked it. And I have all the figurines, so that way I'll show that off at the end of the Let's Play. So that'd be a treat for you guys. And I'm expecting this to take about probably 50, 60 parts at most. Because I'm not going for 100% like I said before, but still, the game is pretty long. It, it's about 12 hours on also, yeah, I'm expecting about 60 parts at the most. Now this right here is called Beetle Shop Ship. Also, Link cannot swim that long in this game, I don't know why. I think it's mostly because the world is covered in water. So what we're gonna do in here, we're gonna go ahead and buy the bait, uh, the bait back. I always do it this way. Go ahead and buy one of these, and then I'll buy some, uh, 
Uh, shut up. I know it's the bait bag. I've played this game before. Thank you. Okay, blah, blah, blah. And then we're gonna buy some all purpose bait, which will be explained later. Um, but this really will come in handy later in the game. Like, this is gonna be your friend. Uh, okay, guys, well, we're kind of running low on time here. Um, to the next time to the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker when we go and continue seeing stuff on Outset. See you guys in. Bye.